Hello everyone. Guess who it is? It's Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm over in Sky Canyon in a community called Cantero by um, Century Communities. And this is this community's been around for a minute. They have three different floor plans to choose from. And I do believe they're all two-story homes, but only two are modeled right now. And we're gonna take a tour of residence 2119, which is the square footage of this home. And it has three bedrooms, two and a half baths, a loft, a den, and two car garage. But the agent said that it actually comes, how they spec everything out for this floor plan is four bedrooms, three baths, and a loft. So disregard what I said in the beginning. <laughs> The monthly HOA for this community is there's two of them. It's going to be a, it is a gated community. The first one for Contero is $50 a month. The second one for Sky Canyon is $84 a month. And then the SIDS are roughly around $540 a year. So this um, is modeled as a den with a half bath, but for the most part, all the homes that were specced out are with a bedroom, bedroom, closet, and a full bathroom downstairs. And what I mean by spec home is a lot of these builders have done, picked out options, structural, and upgrades, and they have it listed for sale. So everything's been specced out. So the, hence the reason why we call them spec homes. This community in particular doesn't have any right offhand. She did say that there will be a handful that are scheduled to close at the end of December. And for those ones that are scheduled to close at the end of December, there is a incentive for this community up to $30,000, where you can utilize that incentive towards either buy down your points, your closing costs, or even reduce the price of the home but you have to use the in-house lender to take advantage of all those types of incentives. This is a good size kitchen. Let's see, the pantry, it's okay, a little small. Um, I love the black mat stacked vertically, tile in the background, it's my favorite. I actually like horizontal as well, but vertical is nice. And obviously this is a very custom cabinets that they utilized in this model, but they did go with more of the generic that comes with the builder options, uh, quartz countertops. Find it interesting when they start doing this one. I guess people like all these little specs. I don't know. Then you have your big basin sink with your um, dishwasher and then the traditional microwave with the oven this looks like an upgraded oven compared to what i've been seeing in the other um, neighborhoods by century communities i usually don't like going over prices i'll put it at the down in the description below because things change um and by the time you watch this video the price may be higher or lower or they just have all spec homes and they're not even building from ground up so basically, when you buy a new construction home, the backyard is a never landscaped. The only thing that will come with the backyard is going to be the pavers to, that's over the covered patio. Everything else is um, dirt. Now, the front yard is always landscaped with the pavers and the driveway and um, pathway, the entryway. This has a very good feel. It feels bigger than 2,100 square feet. Ooh, I see a nice loft. Okay, let's take a quick pan around. A lot of features I would normally point out that's upgrade or not upgrade, but since this builder has a lot of spec homes, it's really pointless because um, of everything's already been pre-selected for you. So this is the primary bedroom. I 
think the ceilings are nine feet upstairs. Um, like the double vanity, the honeycomb tile backsplash, the all-in-one shower with the bench. That's awesome. And they did some upgrades on this one, not like having the generic builder grade shower insert. So that's great. And then I really like how these homes also have the linen closet in all the primary bathrooms because I can use that for jeans, sweaters, shoes, you know, extra storage if you don't have that much linens. And then this is a decent sized closet, you know, not that big, but not that small either. And this is a custom closet, so the home will not come with this. It's going to be your generic wood shelving with the wood rods, FYI on that. Another linen closet. Then you have a bedroom right here. Good size bedroom. Maybe a 13 by 14. Because you have this is a queen size bed with two nightstands and a decent size closet. Then you have the laundry room upstairs, which seems to be standard. Your smart panel. The cabinets are an upgrade. FYI, and again, the washer and dryer and laundry do not come with the house. Then you have um, the guest bathroom upstairs with the double sinks, double vanity, and it still has the builder grade tub shower insert, but I like the black matte accessories, very beautiful. I like it, especially in the doors. Now, a lot of model homes or all model homes will not have the doors on them, for display purposes, that way we can walk in and out of the rooms without having to open the doors or close them if they end up getting closed. So here's the other bedroom, which is the third one or fourth one. And a nice walk-in closet. This feels maybe 13 by 13. Um, it has four can lights and it's pre-wired for a ceiling fan. I don't know if this is standard or customary that comes with the house, but the nice thing is with all the homes in Sky Canyon, you do have fire sprinklers. So that's really great to know for safety purposes. And that is it, folks. This is wrapping up my tour of this beautiful home over at Cantero One by Century Communities in Sky Canyon. We are checking out Residence 2119 that has four bedrooms, a loft, two and a half baths and a two car garage. If you were thinking about buying new construction in the Las Vegas area, I'm your new home sales expert and I sell a lot of new construction here in the Valley. Please reach out to me and give me a call at 702-370-5112. As always, make sure you like and subscribe and I appreciate you watching my videos. See you on the next model home tour. Peace out, folks.